Good morning, everybody. So you've seen the first slide, and I'm going to go ahead to the next one. I'm Vandana, and I'm in the, from the early years education field. I'm looking at investigating the parent factors which affect the young ones, that's the earlier preschooler, to see if they have an effect on their learning because of their culture or their nationality. So overall, uh, this is a very important topic to UAE. The e early years education hasn't been researched a lot in the Middle East, so UAE is, uh, you know, this is probably the first of its research, I mean, first of its kind. Uh, the problem in the UAE that we do not have a, we don't have a national curriculum for the early years. So this is a very big, uh, like, limitation. So, so you have private nurseries operating however they would want to. There is not much of public investment, and there is not much of insight into the early years section here. The objectives for me, as I said before, that I would like to look at the influence of the parental factors, and, and very important to see if there is a link on the quality certifications to the learning outcome of the children. So would it be possible that if you have a nursery which is highly quality certified, for example, ISO certification versus non-ISO certified nurseries? So this, exper this is an experimental design. We've heard from, from the past uh, presentation about uh, which corner, and I'm on the extreme left top hand experiment design, positivist view. I think it very well explained to us. Uh, these are the research questions. So you can read it. That uh, Again, I repeat that, first of all, I would like to check if there is an improvement in the learning of the preschoolers. And for this, I have a pre-test and a post-test instrument developed, which is standardized across the nurseries. And um, if there is a difference in the learning, which is the pre-test and the post-test result, could it be that parental factors contribute to it? Would it be the cultural factors? That question will be answered with the survey questionnaire that will go out to all the parents. Again, the learning scores will be compared for the ISO certified nurseries and the non-ISO certified nurseries. So in effect, I have a control group and an experiment group. So I'm hoping that this will be a good and a, and a very robust research, God willing. Um, I have a hypothesis that I do believe uh, that there would be a difference in the quality certifications uh, for the nurseries and the children of those nurseries, the learning outcomes will be higher. Uh, this is the hypothesis that I uh, propose. Um, I have my dependent variable, variable, which is the student learning. It's operationalized because for an early year, a two-year-old, to, to like, define learning, it's vague. So I have to narrow it down and operationalize it to the UK national curriculum, the seven areas of learning, uh, which are mentioned in my proposal. And um, of course, those areas of learning have been, uh, have been brought out in the pre-test and the post-test instrument. The control variables are the curriculum, which is added across the nurseries. I have 10 nurseries participating in this project, five certified, five non-certified. The pedagogical practices are controlled and attendance. We are assuming that it's similar because the curriculum is similar across the branches. The moderating variables that can affect the research would be the attitude of teachers, maybe the culture of the teachers, uh, you know, the socioeconomic status of the parents, because some nurseries in some demographic areas of Dubai have a different economic status. So these could be the other uh, moderating. My independent variables are the parent-related factors. In the survey questionnaire, uh, I've got the questions for nationality, mother tongue, mother working status, educational level, and the time spent with the children. Will that affect the learning of the preschoolers? And of course, a school certification, yes or no. My theoretical framework primarily is uh, on the lines of the learning and parental role expounded by Piaget and the famous Vygotsky, uh, because we have the Vygotsky theory of the parental involvement or the role of the teachers played for the children. Piaget's theory of assimilation and the children developed by learning, mimicking assimilation, etc., suits the nursery school because they have a playway method. Of course, the ISO quality framework would also be defined in the, in the entire theoretical framework. Uh, this is, uh, I spoke on the Vygotsky's theory of zone of proximal development and the Piaget's theory. I'll go on to uh, the slides of Vygotsky. It's a bit unclear here, but basically other people contribute to the early years uh, sector, which is what the nursery is, a very hands-on approach for teachers, parents, et cetera. And uh, zone of proximal development is, is, again, the theory that I will be looking into to support the research framework. My literature review section would cover up the 
bodies of literature around the globe. We don't have much in Middle East, but we have a few research topics on learning in, in the preschool, not preschoolers, but the primary age children, which I would be you know, using for the Middle East level literature review support. Student learning in the early years on parent-related factors and on quality. I, in my research, I only found one preschool in the US that has got certification of uh, you know, their school, and they've got some kind of the same uh, research done to compare learning. But I searched in the UK, everywhere. It's only in the US they've got one certified nursery, which they found out that was, you know, in the sense, better for the learning. So uh, research approach and design, I'm extremely on the left-hand corner, what we learned today. Very nice visual we got. I can't forget that slide now. So I will be using the quantitative approach with the experimental design. As I said before, five nurseries are certified, five non. Uh, different geographical locations, because how will I capture the culture and demographics? So if we know Dubai, we've got Bur Dubai area with Asians population, the Jumeirah side probably with your expats and Arabs, etc. So this helps me to you know, establish the, you know, like the robustness of the research. The sampling is random because the questionnaire will have gone out to all the nurseries and would be uh, responded in a random way and selected for the parents, uh, stratified because obviously we're taking the nurseries across the different uh, areas. Um, the data collection, as I spoke on the pre-test, post-test, the survey form for the parents. This is a kind of a slide that will show in a very nice way uh, systematic learning for non-ISO, ISO, for parent, for ISO, non-ISO, a very simplified model to get my research answers. Of course, I'll be using a lot of statistical tests to get the results. And uh, as I spoke on the reliability and validity that uh, I'm hoping to generalize this because this is a pure quantitative research and uh, look at it for UAE, uh, you know, to, in, to like develop policies and hopefully to the ministries to have, a, to have a national curriculum on early years, to have quality certification guidelines for the nurseries, to have inspections. Uh, so these all will go into helping uh, you know, the UAE to increase the awareness for the importance of quality for the two, three, and four-year-olds in UAE. I think I'm done in 10 minutes, and uh, limitations of the study, I would say one is that primarily I have to look at my own bias because I'm into the field and very passionate about it. It's my workplace environment. But because this is a quantitative design, I do not have much influence on the instrument and on the, on the data that I get. And I have to look at the other moderating variable factors of the teacher's motivation, et cetera, when they have the pretest and post test of you know, the answers that they provide. But uh, through peer debriefing and reviews with examiners, I'm sure I can overcome that. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>